Hey, my name is Frank Coles. Rob Farbridge sitting inside there. Bob, you know, you play my steppers. Are you ready, ski guys? It's time for the lightning round. Chris and Brown, start with Mikey, Connecticut. Mike! Hey, how are you? Mike, 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 what's up? Hey, hey Jimmy, chill. Thanks for taking my call. It's a pleasure to speak with a legend. I appreciate you. Thanks for taking it. Uh, so I'm calling today. Uh, I'm calling up the stock ticker from Micron. Uh, so I've Micron. seen some days. I said this was the stock of the day when I was being interviewed earlier by David Faber, and I said, I don't know if you can hold 50, and I don't think you can. I think the stock goes to 48, 47 before I would think about buying it. I know that's not great, but I have to give you the truth. How about we go to Rocky in Florida? Rocky! Mr. Kramer, greetings from sunny Florida. Nice. What's up? First time, long time. Should I even start techno picking away at uh, AMT or CCI? Thank no, you. we don't want to buy the tower stocks yet because they don't yield enough, given the fact that the two-year treasury has gotten to four. I say keep your powder dry. Let's go to Wayne in Mississippi. Wayne. Jim, thanks for your help over the years of helping us out. Ah, oh, you're too kind. Thank you, buddy. What's your opinion on Moderna? All right, I think Moderna has suffered enough. I think the stock is too low. I actually want to buy the stock. I know it can go lower, but I think it's a really well-run company, and enough is enough. Let's go to William in Alaska. William. Yes, sir. Greeting from the land of the midnight sun. My question That's right. is, thanks for having me on, uh, Texas Instrument. Uh, Texas Instruments is too cheap. I know people hate the semiconductors. It sells at 16 times earnings. I think they'll make the quarter, and I think you can start buying leg in. Don't buy all at once. Carl in Michigan. Carl. How are you, Jim? How y'all? I hope all is going well with you. Well, I'm doing my best trying to hang in there like you are. What's going on? Great. I have two advertising technology stocks on my watch list, Pubmatic and Trade Desk. Pubmatic's too right. expensive. Trade Desk is right, but here's the problem. Trade Desk sells at a very high price earnings multiple, too high price earnings multiple. It can go lower, and then I would buy it. Richard in California. Richard! Yeah, how are you doing, Jim? Richard, I'm having call? a tough day, frankly, because I don't like people losing money, but I'm doing my best. What's going on? Calling about a stock that I've owned for quite a while. I've got a rather large position in it, and uh, and it's a big automotive stock. I, uh, stock, I think, as well. It's called On Semiconductor. All right, on Semiconductor is a terrific company. It sells at 13 times earnings. It is up a lot, so therefore it is vulnerable. But I have to tell you, it's doing well. But all semiconductor stocks are vulnerable. That's the work that I've done out here, and I will keep and reiterating that all week next week. Michael in Michigan. Michael. Hey, Jim. I know you don't like that, but I love value. What do you make of the chance of the CCL Carnival being able to service its debt and save off bankruptcy without I having think to sell it, I think it can stave off bankruptcy, but I don't think that makes it a good stock, and that's the problem. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the conclusion of the Lightning Round. The Lightning Round is sponsored by TD Ameritrade. Coming up, when the Book of the Bear is written, spirit chapter for Wall Street greed. Why inflation isn't the only headwind slowing down your money. Next. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.